Have you ever seen alopecia in a guinea pig? Is your guinea pig losing hair? This is the video for you. Lufa, this little girl, is losing hair in large, large chunks. It's just falling out. Hello, I'm Dr. Pat with Little Critters Veterinary Hospital. I've been a practicing veterinarian on exotics and small animals for about 25 years now. Consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and definitely leave the comments. I love hearing from you. Thank you. And she has alopecia. If you look, you can see very thin fur kind of all over her trunk. And she's got spots of alopecia on her little bell bell. So you can see it on the sides here where we're losing hair. The other important detail for Lufa is she's got nipple hypertrophy on the mammary glands. You can see the thickened skin on each side. Very typically, this will occur with ovarian cysts, so it's an important thing to look at when we're doing an exam with these girls. And Lufa does have a history of ovarian cysts. There are a couple ways you can treat that. They can be spayed to remove the cyst, and we do that in the younger pigs. When they're a little bit older, or if that's not an option, then we often will do desborelin implants, an implant that suppresses hormones. But now she's losing a whole bunch of hair and also very itchy. So what's your differential? Any idea what's going on? Concerned about a few differentials. So do you have any ideas to what may be going on here? There's a handful of possibilities. So guinea pigs can get ovarian cysts that, that will sometimes cause hormonal alopecia. And very typically you'll see the nipple hypertrophy and the thickened skin around there with ovarian cysts. Guinea pigs can also get hypothyroidism, just like people and dogs get, and we'll see thin fur and hair loss with that. And then with the itchiness, we'll often see things like fungal infection, and we see mites that can very frequently cause an itchy paretic guinea pig. Hormonal issues can also cause that. And so there are a few possibilities that we need to rule out with her. So one of the things we're gonna do is a DTM, just to swab her whole body, make sure not, we're not harboring a fungal infection. Classically, you will see scabs and scaling, but not always, they can carry it. We are doing some blood work on her today and we're checking her thyroid. And then mite screening is also indicated to rule out mites or other problems. So if you see a guinea pig losing hair or with patches of alopecia or thin, thin hair, it's not normal, we need to get that checked out because now you know it could be from systemic illness or ectoparasites or fungal infections. So we wanna figure out which one it is so we know how to treat this appropriately in this little girl.